the story is Well, yes, I seen her up here at the courthouse today, and she asked me, she says, hey, hippie, I said, what? She said, uh, do you still have your balls in a box? <laughs> oh, it brought back memories, uh, the, the memories when she asked, she's an old hippie girl herself, I know her well, if you know what I mean. I seen her up there at the courthouse. She says, Hippie? Says, I says, what? She says, she had a smile on her face. She says, do you still have your balls in a box? And instantly, the, 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 my, it was like a mind movie. It was like my whole life in, in sequence passed through my mind. I mean, it was a visual to me only. But anyways, uh, what the, the, the story is, uh, when I was young, I did have two of the most beautifulest balls you have ever seen. Oh, I would oil them up with mineral oil. I tried everything, motor oil, warm butter. I was proud of them. And, and, and I, I will tell you immediately that in competition, what, and I did go professional there at the last, uh, my balls was known from down in, on the south of New Orleans to up on the north end of New York City. I mean, downtown Chicago. I mean, we're talking the bad side of town. They was betting and wagering going on. The sky was the limit. I mean, I, I have been in competition when they would be up to 40 balls, all in a ring. I mean, you get, uh, and there was a couple of girls that I know that had, they had, they had some nice balls too. Matter of fact, the, the duct tape girl over there, she, uh, she's got nice balls. Uh, occasionally, you will run up in competition, somebody will try to uh, slip in a couple of counterfeits. I'm talking your steel balls here. I mean, you do occasionally run up on a couple of brass balls. And they're rare. I mean, I have seen them myself. I, as a matter of fact, I have, I have even, let, let's say, enjoyed the feel of a couple of brass balls. I've done that. Stainless steel, your titaniums. I mean, I have seen balls of, well, let's say steel. And, um, but, but they're not legal in competition. And I was at a I was at a competition in I believe that was Houston, Texas. Uh, some of my kin folks had toted me out there, and um, I remember it was in a warehouse out back by the airport, Houston, Texas. And I mean, you can see some unusual, rare sites in Houston. Well, it's open competition. And uh, there in Houston, as, as a matter of fact, uh, I remember when I stepped up to the weigh-in table, the, it was a ladies' auxiliary that was putting on the show. And um, now I stepped up to the table, and I had oiled my balls up earlier in the day. And I even, I even warmed them. And that's not legal in competition either. If you go into a game and somebody protests that you've got warm balls, then they'll kick you out. I mean, throw you out of the building. That's some, well, I mean, they throw you, I mean, your balls goes with you. That's a given. But anyways, I, I stepped up to that weigh-in table and laid my two balls out there on the table. And that one girl looked at the other and she said, that is the most, that's the most beautiful pair of balls I have ever seen. Oh, it was uh, it was a beautiful sight. I was proud of them. And they weighed them in, and just I mean they they were in the middle of the specs. You know, not too large, not too small. Um, they just brought back memories. I could go on and on with this right here. I know the I, I know the girl one time that busted her balls. I know two or three guys that would that has busted their balls. I mean, right in the midst of competition, even. It's, uh, I mean, you're left with one ball.
Uh, it's rare to bust both of them. And, uh, but I've seen it done. I've done it myself. Uh, the two balls that I do have now, uh, I've had them for a long time. Me and them balls goes way back. Some stories them balls could tell you. But anyways, you're only allowed two in competition. And they're, they're usually uh, the same weight, uh, same size. And, and there is a, a, a too much and too little, you know, I mean, a scale to go by. There's rules. This, this is not a, it's competition. And all I'm going to say is the hippie girl over there and the duct tape girl uh, who I run into them up in and they brought this up. Uh, reminiscing on old times, and 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 uh, I'm just going to say to end in this little mind movie is uh, yes, I was the marble champion of the county that I lived in. I never did get to be statewide marble shooting champion, but you know I give it my best shot. Uh, and it's a, it's a game that I would recommend everyone to take up. Marble shooting. Some refer to it, I think, as Aggies. But by all means, I mean, you can get your marbles at Walmart. By all means, uh, take up the sport. That's y'all dog Sam. They're on East Coast, Arkansas. We're going to go on something else now.